All right, the next thing I'm going to show you involves, you know, drawing either big or small circles. And it's kind of a funky user interface. We have these two buttons. Later, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to do it with like a slider bar, which is a little better. But I want to do it this way to, to introduce variables. Okay, variables are these little memory cells you can create which store values for you. So if you don't have a property like paint color to store value, you can use a variable. And we need a variable to keep track of how big the circles are going to be. So I'm going to make some room and click on this dragged event and just say collapse block. And that'll just kind of get it out of the way. I can, of course, bring it back by just control clicking and choosing um, expand block, right? So it's a nice way to kind of clean your UI, at least for a while. So I do care about the touched event on, on what we're doing here. And what I want to do is deal with this big and small button. So I'm going to go to big button and small button and grab their clicks events. All right, so there's small button dot click. Okay, so what do I want to do when these two buttons are clicked? Well, kind of what I want to do is I want to make it so the radius changes for these circles. So I, you know, I need to change the circle size. Um, so, but you know, I can't really do that directly, right? So this radius has to have something in it. It's not going to be five, and that's where the variable comes in. Okay, so I'm going to define a variable. Think of it like a little spreadsheet cell. And I'm just going to say, okay, let's go grab a global variable. Let's name it um, dot size, okay, the size of our of our circles, okay. And you know we can give it an initial value. So you know, unlike App Inventor one, these blocks are not defined; they're called initialized. So you know, this is just the initial value. So we're going to initialize it to two, so that the dot size will start off as as two. Um, when the big button is clicked, what we want to do is change the dot size to, let's say, 8. Okay, So if I kind of mouse over dot size, I can get a set. So I want to change the variable dot size, and I'm going to change it to 8. So I'm going to Command-C, Command-V to copy that to, but then I'm going to change the number it to 8. All right. Then I'll Command-V one more time to get another 2, and I'll copy this guy as well. And when they click the small button, we're just going to switch things right back to, to two. So very small little um, dot sizes for after they click the small button. So we're almost there, right? Now when we click these buttons, we change our variable. Uh, but right now, it doesn't really change how, how big the circles get drawn. We're still drawing everything as five. And in fact, if I touch my phone, all the circles are, are five, no matter if I click the small button or big button or not. So what we really need to do is get rid of that five. And instead of all, you know, so instead of some fixed number here, we need to get kind of abstract, right? And we need to grab a reference to dot size. All right, and this is where you know programming gets a little, a little less concrete, a little more abstract. Um, you know, but it's it's understandable if you you know it's almost like algebra, right? You just have to kind of realize, oh yeah, there's this memory cell that I can't see. It's got a number in it. I can change that number. All right. And then I can go look and see what's in that number and use it, you know, for instance, if I'm drawing a circle to find out how big I should draw the circle. Okay, let's see if this works. I'm going to touch big and then I'm going to draw a circle. Yep, it's bigger. Cool. If I touch small now, I should get some very small circles and you can barely see them. They're so small. Let me make some red small ones. Okay, so, you know, very fundamental concept in programming are, are variables. You know, we've already dealt with properties like canvas paint color, right? Those are kind of variables that are predefined for you and part of a component, right? The variable we use this time, dot size, is not part of a component. It's kind of a free agent memory cell. And we had to kind of, you know, we, we defined it because we need to remember something, all right? What we, what we need to remember was each time they click big or small, we need to remember, you know, how big the next dot should be.